Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We back with another one, guys. Before we get into the video, let's get this video a thumbs up. If you're new around here, go ahead and hit subscribe, turn on post notifications so you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. So AMC, this is unbelievable, guys. Still going through the same old, same old since a year and some change ago. So things is getting better on the bright side, though, because like I told you guys, I done got a preview of what's to come. And I know this thing isn't done yet. If we wanted to go in on ahead and ran off the way we did, if we would have been still trading down in the $13, $14 range or coming lower, I mean, still, I would have believed this thing has no other choice but to go up. Because like I told you guys, stocks don't go straight up. They don't go straight down. But we just got to get past all the manipulation and all the fuckery. And like I said, just because things don't go my way, I don't want to call out oh manipulation this manipulation that but we know it's right in front of our face though but the thing is guys we also got to pay very very close attention to the options market because like i always tell you and this is not to justify me when i'm wrong or when i'm right or none of that it's just putting the facts out there you also got to pay close attention to the option market because like i say it's more than just one thing in particular that causes the stock to lag around and also causes the stocks to surge and go up so if we play close attention we know on april the 20 second one second guys go get a toy mom go get a toy toy and play with him go get a toy and come play okay if we play close attention to april the 22nd 2022 we have a lot of implied volatility and by implied volatility just means that investors they traders just expect a lot of you know either a big rally to the upside or a big pullback they expecting one or two things and like i say i never like to be on the fence like that and say oh this or that could happen no i put it out there and let you know what i think is going to happen i think it's going to be a big rally to the upside we well, already got a preview guys and this pullback them doing exactly what they're doing especially with the psychological aspects and we know it's also manipulation this is a perfect you know pullback the lag around bs around to get all those people that rushed in at the 30s to get all them out of here and a lot of people is expecting for us to come even lower to the 15 14 i still don't think so i still don't believe that even though i believe the bottom would be worst case scenario would be 23 though i believe previous resistance would be a strong sign of support but that didn't hold okay now i say the bottom is got to be the low 20s we hit 20 you seen today how we kept coming down to 20 it looked like they wanted to get us under 20 but they just couldn't and you know we can't ain't gonna speak ahead of ourselves we never know what tomorrow may bring or the next days but 20 looked like it, it couldn't be broken don't look like it could get us under 20 and we had a nice little increase in price action this morning straight out of the gate we seen a lot of momentum. Look like we was ready to run back up. And then all of a sudden, that same around 1045, we started declining price. And once we decline, we decline all day long. But as we decline, we found a support near the low twenties and couldn't go any further. Had a little a little spike here and there, not much. It went up a little bit just to come right back down to the twenties. Then towards power hour, like I tell you guys, they like to that's how they like to lag all day. Like they could have been this morning when you brought us down to 20, you could have go ahead and did that. You know, that's the bottom and go ahead and start sending us right back up. Instead, they'll let it lag all day long. So you don't have much time within the day to actually get to the point that I expect us to get to. And like, I didn't expect anything spectacular today. No, never do until I do. And I will say it. But the day I just expected for us to come down, hold up at 20, go no lower, just to recover back to where we previously was, get back to that $23, $24 barrier. Not nothing much, guys. And the day still ain't over. And I do believe something still could possibly happen in the after hours, the way they lagged off and waited to the last hour of the day to actually start to get us some momentum. It's nice, mama. <laughs> go get me something else. Go get me the other doctor stuff. Go get me the other doctor stuff so I can check your heartbeat. So, like I say, guys, they just, you know, try to lag us off, bring it down, drag it off like an old man all day long instead of letting it come to the point that it's going to come to, then letting us go ahead and get to our next factor. Because, you know, you get what I'm saying. Like, what what is there for you to do, AMC? You're going to come back down to the $13, $14 level to give people another chance, a second chance to load up. 30k 40k at those levels because we know you're going back up after you do so where you going to go it ain't nowhere else for you to go guys but up 
We done been hammered down for the past eight months. And we've seen how quickly we is going to get back to all-time highs or back to the 30s or back to the 40s, wherever you're ready for it to go. It's going to happen fast, guys. So you already know, guys. That's all I really got for this video. Just want to give y'all a quick update on my end. Also, I want to put this out there because I said it in my last video, but I had a, I was outside or whatnot. got too hot out there. But I was just stating, I'm going to let you go after this. I was just stating that. For the same people that's 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 hating and and always complaining and always this, you act like it's me. If I could control AMC and make it push it push it up, follow the market maker, I would do it for you guys. But hell, I can't. The only thing I am is a regular old guy sitting in my room sharing my opinion on the markets, the markets that I made money off of, and why other people is still trying to figure out how to make money off of it. So you already know, guys. Like I say, LeBron James. Kobe Bryant, RIP, rest in peace, much respect, but he was one of the best players ever. Kobe Bryant, MJ, LeBron James, they could miss shots all day long. Not all day, but the shots that they missed at the important moments, the shots that they, you know, that they flopped on. People ain't going to never remember that. They ain't going to never talk about it. You know what they going to talk about? They going to just talk about the times they hit them buzzer beaters. They going to talk about the times they made them awesome dunks. They going to talk about the times they crossed somebody up and then made the three on them. That's what they going to talk about. They going to forget all about the mistakes that they made. But in the field that I'm in, y'all don't, they don't think about all last week. This guy was right every single day. Because I remember all last week. I said, it's going to do this, going to do that. It did it. It's going to do this, do that. It did it. Do this, do that. It did it. Then the next week, this week, when he wrong a day or two, and I'll probably be three, four days, it don't matter. But my thing is, they don't remember when you was right, and especially if you were right in a in a streak. They just remember when you wrong in this field, the field that I'm in. But like I say, though, guys, I ain't worried about it because me being right or wrong don't pay my bills. Also, YouTube don't pay my bills. I just started YouTube a year ago. Just got.